while I got you for a little bit of time, let's go jump in this. Um, Inoria Coffee, from what I understand, is a vi bunch of crazy people. Okay, let me ask you. Inori Coffee is a visual novel. Um, this is also part of the. There's a game jam. There's a narrative game jam going on over on each.io, and this is when the game's from it. This kind of popped into my senses when I went looking for visual novels, and I was like, okay. So I found this at a good time. Let's give it a shot. Oh, jeez. This game may contain sensitive topics. What the hell is that? Okay, time to start the day. Ha ha. I remember coffee shops before COVID. So they went gay. Oh, I told you not to call me like that. Okay, I like the voices. That's cool. Gotcha. <laughs> She's got that customer service voice on hardcore. So you should know that. Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. Fine, I guess could be better. You feeling good. Except you're not. Okay. Oh. We're gonna. Oh, by the way, this game has two possible endings, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna go. It's Saturday. I'm not doing it tomorrow. I did all my cleaning, so we're just gonna go this out for as long as it is. Yeah, true. I might just be exaggerating. Please don't get mad. Oh, it's okay. I'm just sick and tired of you guys bringing that up again and again and again. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Sorry about that. I wish everything was okay. Hmm? Yeah, we're just gonna step off of that. In the afternoon. Wishing everything was okay, as if they're not. That's a little bit of perceiving, kind of, on one side, trying to figure out how life is. So... When you're talking to your bartender, your the person you go to, maybe for like a sub sandwich or a coffee, I guess that's we all like we'll try to talk to them and we might get like an idea of lives. It's okay. It's taking that perspective on. Hi, folks. That is a dog at the bar. Why? Okay, but you know what? I let my cats on the table, so that's fine. You know. Yeah. Just barking, woof woof, really annoying. Have a good, good time. And you? Oh, oh no. no! I forgot to say woof. Woof! Oh. There. What, what was, was I saying? saying? He asked me how I was doing, and I must reply that I'm doing good. I must reply. Is everything okay? I'm starting to wonder. Can I have an Irish coffee? 
Night shift? Is that alcohol or no? Okay, time to start the day. Hi, madam. Oh, shut up. You make me sound old. <laughs> Spinach juice. I don't know all that. Why do you always want that green shit? Okay. Uh, what do you mean it's the very same ambrosia that Elias has decided to bestow on? Yeah, yeah, I know. So she's more familiar with her. Thanks, I guess. Aw, Snow Day Baby, you can't say thanks without going all Simpson. clean this fucking place. This is not a kid's stream. This is not a mature stream. But I'm guessing because this game has so many F-bombs, we're just going to kind of go with it. Because it's voice activated, I'm not going to have to bleep that out. So, it is what it is. Don't know what you mean. Hi, best friend. What you do my homework? friends. It's okay. Yes, no problem. Why are you talking to a rat? Hmm? What rat? Stop doing this to yourself. Stop doing this to yourself! To yourself. What do you mean? She doesn't like watching that. It's a little bit of harder tones in the music, which seems like something's maybe building on her. Right? Oh, if I'm looking this way, I have the stream labs over here, so eventually I'll shift over here for when we're actually playing soccer. Yeah? She's having a little bit of a harder time, but I don't know if she manages the place or owns it. Hey, if you didn't forget to say Wolf. Ah, yes, I'm Wolf. Wolfderful. Wolfderful. Ivy's kind of building on her. Wolf to hear it. What is that even supposed to mean? Strangely enough, we don't have a cat for this. But usually there's one sleeping around the corner. Tune in later in the stream. There might be a cat making an appearance. Oh god. some alone time with your uncle? What? Okay, what do you want me to cook them for a dinner? 
How many greens do you have at home? She's talking to the rat. I'm starting to think the rat is a growing problem. Coke? Ah, oh, true. You know how we don't want to know we come here. Mm-hmm. Say no. Oh. Don't know what you mean. I'm worried about you, dear. Healthy, everything. Ooh, okay. I kind of see where this is going. Definitely not her winking. Her eyes are over here. Those? That's tired. That's tired and somewhat kind of trying to be hopeful. Also, who the hell is this? And why are they blank? Background has definitely changed. The music has definitely changed. The seats are getting beat up. There's lots of rats over here. Her customers are not returning, except for the dog. Good after a wolf. How wolf are you, my dear? Okay, that's gonna get annoying to her really quickly. Okay, okay, I'm done. Feeling good. She's blanking out. She's blanking out hard. Won't you go to Mary's store, honey? Say no. But mom? Are you trying to defy me? Whoa. That's definitely trauma. Thank you, honey. So they're asking about the rats, but the rats might not actually be there. She loves you. I don't think everything's okay. I can't see you like this. I think she's the one having Irish coffees. Shit, that was the game. Okay. Um We're gonna play through again because things got dramatically worse as they were going on. Also, just to kind of I I'm guessing we're just gonna be at the halfway point. I'm gonna play through both sides and try to get both endings. Um Love the voice work added. I love the care for direction. Music definitely changes the tone. And you kind of get a little bit from each character, but what I initially thought was them or like the bartender just being irritated that, okay, things are going on in my life, these people are probably too much, like, no, there's actually problems going on. So now I'm going to be looking in the background to see how everything looks in the very beginning, because I definitely did do that at first. 
This game contains sensitive topics. Yeah. Oh, those are advertisements. Got it. Okay. Time to start the day. Okay. Leaves. Shelves apart. Time to start the day. There's the menu. Okay. You have to call me that. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you. How are you. Fine, I guess. Could be better. You? Feeling good. Except you're not. Again with that, I already told you everything's okay. But listen, just, okay, we're gonna go with the second option this time. But listen, I might be wrong, but I just feel like everything is not okay. So annoying, stop! Okay, so... Hey, Jelly! What's going on? Welcome to the- we're in the second playthrough of this. This is an interactive novel, and... There's some things going on that I think you should know about. Um, why don't we keep playing and I'll talk about it after this. Okay. So annoying, stop. I don't want to hear it. So he's trying to check in on her. He's concerned. It's just that I don't know why it's just this just... You guys, you guys saying the same things again and again just to get me on my nerves. Okay. So, she's kind of deflecting a little bit, but then again, I think she's trying to make sure that there's a wall up between her and the clients that she's actually talking to day to day. Don't you think we might have a reason for doing so? No response. <laughs> Cold. Yeah, you, you kind of poured it out from underneath the sink. A reason, maybe? No, I don't. Hi, folks. You know. Just barking woof woof, being really annoying, having a good time. Can you? Mm-hmm. Oh, no! I forgot to say woof. Woof! There. there. What was I saying? That's what I think, at least. Well, if you say so. No matter what you choose to do, I want you to know that I'll be here for you. That dialogue option did not... This is... Oh, I wouldn't say a puzzle, but maybe a little bit, kind of seeing what's going on. Um, Up did not say this the first time that I can recall. No matter what you choose to do, I want you to know I'll be here for you. So, showing support. Okay, so now she's doing it. She's playing along. Please, everything is okay? Now she's asking herself, is everything okay? Maybe I could try. Whoa, hold on. Okay. She's gonna... Are people actually coming in the door? Did she put those up? Okay. So she's pouring somebody an Irish coffee that usually looks shrouded. Okay. And I'll talk about that since... Maybe. Okay. So the board isn't put up right. We're starting to see a couple of the vines disappear. It's, Starting to look a little shabbier. 
One of the cushions has a little bit of tear over on this end. It might be ghosts. It might be in her mind. I'm not sure yet, but that slide didn't come up the first time. Before, we didn't actually know what the front of the store looked like. We just had this. So I'm guess two endings to this game. This was made in 10 days too, by the way. So this is kind of cool for 10 days. Hi, madam. Oh, shut up. You make me sound old. I want some spinning shoes. Why do you always want that green shit? Ugh. Um, I don't know about spinach juice. I'm pretty sure. Isn't it like. I don't know, like weed shots or something that they serve at juice bars? Thanks, I don't think I spinach is that, but I don't know. Oh, so not I, baby. They can't say thanks without doing all Simpson. Oh, uh, fuck you. I love the voice. I love the voice of the character. So... When are you gonna clean this place up? Don't know what you mean. Hi, best friend. Won't you do my homework? Oh, God. Okay, now I know what the rat is. Is it just choose? Um, kind of, sort of. Or there's games to figure out the correct... Sort of. This is it. This is more or less the game. So it gives us limited amount of time to actually put it together, but you get two packs. Um, the brat is asking, calling her best friend, do the homework. I'm going to jump back on this. So that is definitely. I just want you to keep this in mind, or at least you see the rat. That is not a rat. That is another. Thing entirely. Why are you talking to a rat? What rat? When it's sitting right there. Like a short. Yes. So it's very curious. Does it? Um. Pi, you missed what happened a minute ago, I think. Okay. I said stop doing this to yourself the first time. I'm gonna go with you're sick this time. So you're we're, sick. We're crisscrossing paths. So Snotty is gonna go all blast. Just say you're sick. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might have used that option before. Hi pups, how are you? Let me get her wolf, I'm more for We might go through this again. The rat's now asking about taking care of the kids, which definitely, yeah. Whoa, a clean shaven dude. Yes. We'll talk about that in a minute. But welcome in. We are going through a indie indie visual novel that just dropped yesterday, and it took ten days to make this. So stay in. We're going to talk about it afterward. Could you take care of the kids tonight? Sure, but where are you going? Have some time alone with your uncle, you know? That is not a rat. That is not a rat. The dog is barking at the rat? That is not a rat. You only have some alone time with your uncle. If that rat is having alone time with my uncle, I'm gonna punch that rat in the face. Okay, but what do you want me to cook them for dinner? What ingredients do you have at home? 
Cook? Ah, true. You know how we don't oh, want to come here. So she's using her money to feed her aunt's kids? Thank you. Uh, why do you never say no? Don't know what you mean. I'm worried about you. Don't be. Everything's okay. It says so on the board. And everything is not okay. Or in the Ron Howard voice from Arrested Development, from Arrested Development, and everything was, but everything was not okay. I screwed up reference. Everything's okay. She's back to this. Can I have an Irish cream or an Irish coffee? Yeah. Music has changed. Everything is a disaster. There's a rat in the corner right here. Everything is not okay. This doesn't look like my dialog options did very much. Okay, okay, I'm done. She's not even there. She's not answering. She is. She is gone. Feeling no. What you go to my store, honey? That is not a rat. But mom. But mom. So first it was best friend, then it was aunt, now it's mom. All three of those things do not line up. Are you? Trying to find me? No, I'll go. Thank you, honey. So she, he, I think so. She's drinking to push back the depression. She loves me. can't see you like this. So we're about to get the same ending we did last time. Everything's okay. Can I have an Irish coffee? Capital letters, yes. Things have gotten very bad. Um, the second time around, I'm sick, or you're sick, just the outburst, I think, didn't play well with what she was going on, because she was kind of starting to that second time around. The first time around, it was like, everything's okay, everything's okay, everything's okay. The second time around, she started to kind of question that with herself. So let's go into this one, and we're going to choose both bottom options. I think... Me mixing up the options didn't help get not getting that second ending. This game may contain some sort of topics. In the morning. Okay. Don't That's the end. Day. That was the sec that was the only ending we've gotten so far. So now we're gonna try for the other one. Leaves in the corner. Everything looked good. So let's keep going. I told you not to call me that. <laughs> so, I just realized she poured, it might be a separate container, but that's the same container that she poured the spinach juice out of. I guess could be better. Except you're not. Okay. Just listen. 
So he's not... Okay, the first option gives you... It's like, yeah, okay, so we're going to back off. Now try to invade her, invade her personal space. The second option, there's reach. So there, things might not be okay, but it's like, okay, we're going to take that extra step to try to talk to her and like, hey... This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm recognizing out of you. I don't want to pass a certain line, but here it is. I might be wrong, but I just feel like everything is not okay. So no, you stop. I want to hear it. Sorry. I love the expressions. I love, obviously, the cute imagery, but... Every time that like there's an actual expression, it's you see the eyes, you see the furrowed brow. It's like okay, it's not that I don't know why. It's just you know you guys, you guys saying the same things get on her nerves. So deflecting a little bit, but just maybe she's not quite getting it. And he's trying to reach like, don't we? Hit, you think we have a reason for saying you may not be okay? You don't seem okay. Okay, look. Cold brew is a thing. Cold espresso is fine. I will brew coffee and literally put it in the fridge downstairs, so... A reason? Maybe? No. I don't know. Hi, Pops. You know. Just barking. Can you? Oh, no! Oof! So be a few. What was I saying? Good, that's what I think, at least. Well, if you say so. No matter what you choose to do, I want you to know that I'll be here for you. So that option came up the second playthrough. The first one, after what I talked to him, she... Cracks already, are already showing after he says that certain dialogue option, which is cool. I do like the change up. So now we're going to go in the night and we're going to get a view of the front of the store. Everything's okay? And now she's questioning it. Maybe and this is the first know. time that we're actually seeing, like, the front. So everything's boarded up. It could be ghosts. Um, kind of like you were saying, Jelly. It could be figment of her imagination. We don't really know what's going on. I think this is a decent way to tackle the topic, but... Now I guess topics. Is there's kind of a lot to unpack here, which I do like. So, she's looking at it, she's questioning it. You see her face, you see that right there. It's like, she doesn't really want to do the Irish coffee. Okay. She's kind of looking down on it. And she's not super positive at the beginning of the day, right here, right now. Which, in the first playthrough, that's all she was. She's like, yeah. Okay. Oh, shut up. We're gonna go ahead and click through to the final or to. Yeah, so there, there, there. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. Um, different container. Showing her disgust. Thanks, I guess. Aww. These might be past customers. So. These might be. Okay. That might be parts of her, but also might be past customers. So if it's parts of her, that shy dude is, okay, maybe I'm going to create a little bit of doubt. And then this might be the feistier. And they're also represented by color, so it could be... It could very well be different sizes. When are you going to clean this place? Hi, Vincent. Why don't you do medical homework? Yes. Yep, rat. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why are you talking to the rats? Stop doing this to yourself. Stop this to yourself. yourself. This is new. Oh, stop. You guys are just too much. Stop it. You should treasure yourself more. Shut up. No. Can't, Can't you, you see? see? We have a motherfucking reason to say that not just something, everything. Everything is just going wrong. 
Shit. Fucking hate it when you're like this. Where has your usual self gone to? Whee! Fine. Fine. Entirely different atmosphere. Yo, what's going on, Gin? You are popping into the indie section, and we're in our third playthrough of this visual novel. We're starting to kind of get an idea of what the hell is going on here, so you might be in time for the second ending. This is a game that was made in 10 days for the narrative game jam over on each.io, and it released yesterday. So download it, bought it for three bucks, and now we're going into it. She's starting to kind of realize what's going on, or at least I'm thinking because of what's represented here, maybe she's not ignoring it quite as hard. I think. She's a doubt. She's got the face on her. I'll actually post a link to this game in the chat after this, but we're going to keep doing going on this. Hey, pups. Yay, today I didn't get to forget to say woof. Ah, yes, I'm wonderful. Woofterful. Woofterful? Woofterful. Uh, I'm using those words to me. Okay. He's not going to stop, is he? About the other book I gave you. Yeah, yeah. I still didn't even finish reading it, but I promise I'm not to So she's actually kind of standing up for herself now. So, so will you give me this one book? I will turn it. I promise. If I get the option, I'm gonna say no. Hmm. Why don't you just say no? know what I mean. So she's definitely seeing doubt in what she's doing right now. Things might not be okay. Maybe I could try. Maybe I could just... You don't think maybe this story is a representation of her mind, and these are things going on? The rats are things that happen on the outside, and kind of, Jelly, what you were saying, the emotions are the people coming in. So you have happiness, which is the dog. You have kind of like the anger, seeing red part, which is the Sonata girl, dressed appropriately. Um. And then you have the boy, who is more of like that sad, kind of nagging part. I'm starting to think that, because the place being boarded up, I don't think this place actually exists. I don't- I, okay, she's definitely being taken advantage by other people. I don't think she's in an abusive relationship. Other than maybe her mom, because that's what it seemed like in that third dialogue set. This time around, we didn't actually get the aunt. We had, I think it was that same friend that was trying to borrow a book from her. And she was like, what about the one that you just had? And this time, we're not getting a straight yes. We're getting yes. And right now, we think that the person at the bar is her. But it's that shadow part. Like, she's feeding this... Oh, she was scrolling, too. She's feeling a very depressed part of herself. She's not saying everything's okay. But we definitely have the same everything going on. The board in the back is okay. We have the side, the shovel's falling apart, spider web. Like, things are not okay. 
Dog happy, yeah. Anger girl, boy's emo. Dark shadow is disease. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe not alcoholism, but it could definitely slowly turn into that. We might as well see it that way. Because once someone gets down a certain hole, depressants sit in, and I know just for myself, when I was in the Navy, I made a rule. Like, I wouldn't drink and I wouldn't smoke if I was sad. Like, if I was really depressed, I wouldn't, and I still don't to this day, try to trigger that. I, there have definitely been times where I've fallen off of that rule set and I paid for it. Dramatically. Um, but drinking when you're sad and depressed doesn't help. Being around people and drinking, maybe, but by yourself, no. Um, shit, especially during this year with COVID. So that's a no-go. Alright, let me... I will keep going. There might be. There might be a happy ending. Because I definitely saw a couple slides with both the boy and the girl at the bar at the same time. So I'm hoping this ending makes her actually deal with what's going on. Okay, I'm done. She's not saying anything. I'm oh, sorry. I was thinking in stuff. So she hasn't actually been open with the happy dog this entire time, and now she's actually kind of, she's trying to, she's trying to talk. She's being honest. Someone told me you had no customers today. Is everything okay? To be honest, I don't know anything. And the rats are the nagging. The rats are the people represented as that. And it's the things actually giving her more anxiety and making her feel down. Or burdened. Won't you go, go to, to the store, store, honey? But mom... Are you trying to defy me? Thank you, honey. Stop. Okay, wait, hold on. Dog also might be a protector, but happiness is also... It's a defense mechanism as well. Could you just look around? I can't see you like this. Nothing's okay. So it's now it's giving us that second dialogue action. We're not having the Irish coffee. We're not doing it. Ha. Are you trying to defy me? Whoa, you little piece of shit. In comes the squad. Shut the fuck up, old woman. Yeah. What the? Shut up. Get lost or I'll bark so loud you turn deaf. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, go drown in the bottom of In a bottle of whiskey. So, she wasn't drinking herself, or she might have, but she was definitely serving her mom. Or serving the person that is giving her the issues. Are you okay? No? But maybe someday.
Well, you reached the end of this game. Just wanted to say thank you for playing. No. Thank you. It's actually a lot to digest here. Um... Every time that someone tried to jump in and talk to her and say, Hey, is everything okay? At first, she put up a block like, Everything's okay. Just, you know, you put up the guard. And a lot of people will put up their walls to kind of block out anything that's going on. Um, as we continue to go through the first time around, at the end of the day, she just kept saying, Yes, 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 yes. And it kept weighing on her little bit by bit. Um, second time around... The boy asked, said, hey, just listen, and we we listened. So we saw that change. We saw the front of the store, or the, the front frame of her mind. We screwed up on her option the second time, but the third time, we hit the very bottom of. She really, like, she yelled. She yelled at girl behind the counter. Mia, I guess what her name was. And the dog not is more reassuring. So to kind of cover everything that we've already talked about so far, Jelly pointed out, it's like, okay, these might be parts of her. So sad boy, like that depressed part, anger, passionate part is the red, and then the dog is like the happy part. But all of those parts together, all those intuitive, intuitive little things talking to her telling her hey there is an issue here you've got to explore this and she just kept pushing back but the third time around slowly but surely she listened she let them in a little bit and she tried to recognize that something was happening outside of the bounds of what she's really used to kind of dealing with maybe this is too much too many burdens um, the rat the first time we saw was best friend. The second time was auntie. She's gonna do something with the uncle. Please feed my kids. And then the third time was the mom. And you saw in the last scene that, are you trying to find me or to defy me? Same thing with the store. And I'm guessing that now the Irish coffee was probably her at the end of every night. She would go home to her mom every night and that would be the last thing that she saw during the day. So... She comes from work. If this if this is actually like a real place, so let's just say that this is her workspace. She works. She's with customers. She may not see them as customers, or she might see them just as customers and not want to let them in, even though they seem every day. They're regulars, obviously, because they care and they're asking. Um, but I don't know. I can't say that that's going to be everybody. But that, those people could also represent not just customers, but your friends, your family, or just someone who's on the outside looking in. And I think the moral of this game maybe is trying to let those people in. Maybe try to listen. If there's an actual problem, try to face it instead of putting it away. Because the rats in the place getting consumed by whatever was going on, slowly but surely... It all kind of built up and the place fell apart. Um, I'm not sure who said it, but it might be like, a, I think it's a biblical thing. The body is the temple. So the coffee shop, it is her temple and because she wasn't taking care of it, it started to fall apart. Because she wasn't taking care of herself and her needs and she was putting everybody else ahead of her, she couldn't say no. Or she started to fall apart. So everything was not good. This is a cool game. This took 10 days, again, by the way, art, music, uh, programming, code writing, so I really enjoyed this. I'll definitely, let me go through the link up, but let's see what's up with the rest of the words. It didn't, it only took three times to go through and actually like find what we needed to. Not during during this times, so yeah. So dog happy, girl angry, I'm catching out messages. So we... Let me see here, do you have to play three times? No, if we chose the bottom option, the, the full time, then we could have gotten this ending. But I like the fact that we had to work through, we had to make the mistakes to figure out what was going on. You know, you 
you, me, and everybody else in the chat had to play detective to figure it's like, okay, so this is not real. These things are not real. This is what this is. This is what this is supposed to represent. And that's kind of how I feel like we made the right choices this time around. We let the boy in. We let the girl in. And the dog kind of was there with us the entire time. The dog was there with us loyal. Oh, hey, loyalty. The dog was there with us through thick and thin, but at the very end, I can't see you like this. So in the end, it really was up to um, Mia to bring herself up and challenge, challenge the notion that everything was okay and say no, everything is not okay and I'm not gonna let you keep doing this. I like that, I like this ending a lot. There's a lot to kind of dig in here, so I would, I highly recommend this. If you're watching this stream over on YouTube or if you're checking this in hindsight, definitely pick this game up. I will put it over in the comment section once I upload this to YouTube, so, and once again, be sure to support indie development, support indie creators. They may be our future. AAA is not all the way. And Sony and everyone else may hate you for saying that, but I am saying it. I think there's something you're forgetting about, like this text. Ah, oh, yes. If you're not familiar with the narrative-driven jam... Okay, so this right here. Um, you might not know that this is our first time organizing a jam. So this is brand new. This is a um, jam that's happening right now. It was stressful. Really worth it. Woof. Worth. Woof. That. I can't. That's no. I can't do it. I'm sorry. What? Good one, pups. And yeah, that. We're happy. Can't wait to see you guys in the next jam. So I'll definitely follow up on this creator at some point in time. I have Mari followed over on uh, itch.io, so... Thank you, Potions and Pixels, for making me play these games or getting me into this. I'm glad I agreed to write up reviews, so... Yeah. That was a cool little experience. I genuinely enjoyed that. Alright, so we're gonna shift this over here. I'm gonna go and go into the intro. So yeah, that game definitely took on more than a few things. It took on... Whew. How do I want to sum this up? I'm going to sum this up with... If there's a wall that you're putting up, and if people are saying or noticing things that are different about you that may not, that may be in your orbit every day, but not, it probably doesn't pay to shoot them away. Definitely check yourself and check them, but if you need help, go to your friends, be open about it. At least be open about issues with yourself. If you're experiencing depression, if overburdening is a thing and it's giving you extra anxiety, if there are things redoubling on themselves, then you need to be honest with yourself and take care of it. Especially right now, if you're watching this video years from now, we're in the COVID age, everyone's at home, a lot of people can't really get together with one another. It is a problem, so you definitely have to take care of yourself. Um, it's extra stress. And I know that probably doesn't mean a lot for me being a stranger, but you know, we just played a game that had something to do with stressful situations. So if anything else, take it from the creators, uh, Jess Ann's. And the rest of the cast. I, I'm i dumb. I'm sorry. Um, I will credit them at the bottom of this over on the YouTube page once I actually clip this and put it up. Um, but yeah, take care of yourself. Listen to people when you think. And also, you know, if you're... If someone's making an effort to reach out to you because you are not yourself or maybe things are going on that people notice that you're not yourself, then... Sit down, have that conversation with yourself, if nothing else. Yeah.